Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing so, so well. And I am excited to be back today with another thrifty video. I decided to head out into town. I'm visiting my parents, but I'm in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I am going to check out some of my old favorite thrift store haunts. And then I'm gonna head back and go back and work the fair some more. There's so many garage sales though. I've stopped at one, bought some stuff for four bucks. I might have to stop at another one on the way back. It has been a little rainy though, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me. Let's see what we can find to resell online today. I'm hoping to make some good profit. And my goal is to find things I can resell for at least $35 online. And so I'm gonna hopefully not spend a ton of money, but find some great flips and do the thing. So let's go to the thrift store together. <laughs> So as you can see here, all green tags were 50% off. So I start my search. I started over in the boutique section and I found this new tags J gel skirt, which was a green tag, which is very promising for 450 and another J gel piece that was linen. These were a pair of brown pants. And actually I found so much J gel pieces like in this section, it was actually insane. Those were the only two green pieces I found though. So the other ones were marked up quite a bit. And so I ended up leaving those behind. And I decided not to get either of those two JGL pieces in the end. I just wasn't super excited about them. But they had a lot of cool things in the boutique section. This Harley Davidson tee, really neat, but it was $12. So um, definitely have raised their prices since I was here last. And then this was another JGL piece. And you're gonna see here, all of these were orange tags for $12. Including this other JGL top is just like tons of JGL. All great sizes. I don't mind JGL. It's a bread and butter piece for me. But for $12, I thought that was a little crazy at the thrift. So I was, uh, you know, flipping through those racks. But another JGL piece. Like, isn't that crazy to, like, watch this as I find just JGL, JGL, JGL. Anyways, here's some Miss Me jeans. They were $35. So were these. Rock Revival, $35. This is the first one I have found Rock Revival jeans. But by golly, $35 at Goodwill was crazy. Especially these. These are marked at $30. And $30 for what I think are Chico's jeans is actually insane. This is just Rock and Republic. $20. I was just so confused. Oh, All of wow. these were so expensive. And it felt like really crazy to be honest here's a free people pair of skinny like faux leather pants they were new with tags but those were also thirty dollars i just i don't know who was pricing but it was crazy i did happen to find this one pair of shoes pretty early on in my time there and they were really cute and also a great brand so we'll see those and talk more about those in the haul even though they were a little marked up so these are nice but not for $25. The Tigo, nice leather shoes. So I could not get those. And then there's also some other ones here. And some Merrells. Those are nice too, but 12 bucks is too much. This is just absolutely insane. J. Crew, 20 bucks. Just literally everything. These are Sundance, which is nice, but look at this. It used to be 60. Now 30. Yeah, so after all that, I was definitely feeling a little discouraged. Was not finding a ton that was great and also cheap enough to buy. Even if I was buying for myself, I would not be paying $30 at the Goodwill. I would much rather find them online in my perfect size or my perfect cut that I actually am looking for. So I thought that was a little crazy, but I did find a couple cute things in here. And the dress section really is where I found a great piece. So I don't think you can read that yet, but it is a Tadashi Shoji piece, which I love selling. So that's going right in the cart. So I'm sort of on the fence about this one. It's really cool, it's vintage, but do you think that somebody that did not go here would buy that? There's also no tag. So we'll see. And I ended up with a few things, but I decided to go across the street to Salvation Army because they are so close together. I was like, okay, I might as well run in really fast. And all the women's swimwear were apparently $2. And then I got in here and also all the yellow tags were half off. But I didn't realize that it was almost the end of that 
weekly color so um yeah there weren't very many then here's a pair of those nike air shoes i found one the other day these were marked at 80 dollars 99 these down here a pair of doc martens very exciting at first by golly they were 30 american dollars but i found one thing this one and i'll show you everything else i got when we get home Okay friends, we are back home. I am here back in our house in Indianapolis and I have so many goodies to share with you guys. I went thrifting at Goodwill first, jumped across the street to Salvation Army. I only found one thing there, but I also did get some garage selling in while I was in my hometown. So I'm gonna show you guys that stuff too because why the heck not? It's gonna be a fun one. So let's jump into everything I picked up at those little thrift stores in Fort Wayne and also at the garage sales in my hometown. So at Goodwill, I spent $36.33. And I was able to find some good pieces. So as you can see in some of my clips, the shoes were so expensive. I just, I, I couldn't understand. They were all like marked to at least like 20 bucks. And I was like, what is happening here? It wasn't, and there weren't that many pairs of shoes either. It was, it was so strange. But I did pick up this pair of shoes and these are by the brand Paul Green, which is really exciting. It was one of the brands I put on my shoe brand list. So let me give you a little look-see to the inside here. It's really hard to see, I know, but this is a good shoe brand. I've never found it before. I did have to pay up for it. I paid $12 for these and I didn't realize until right now that these are a size five and a half which is a little small, so I'm a little worried that this might have been a bad pickup just because I think it's gonna take a while to sell. It still will sell, but who knows how long it'll take. But these are handmade, and I believe Paul Green might be, is it a Swiss brand? I'm not quite sure. So this is what they look like on the bottom. You see the logo again. Really, really cool style, kind of Western inspired. I like them. I think that from the comps for a pair of booties from them, I'm expecting hopefully at least 50 bucks and that will make it worth it for me. And then we have a really cool sweatshirt. Um, I showed Jeremy and Giu and they both agree that I think we need to keep it here for us to wear. It's a vintage Purdue sweatshirt and it's from Lee Sport, but look at that tag, super cool. This is marked at $5.99 and then it has a really cool neckline, really, really cool embellishments on there on the front. And then we have a Big Ten Conference kind of embroidered patch on here as well as another Lee Sports logo right there. It's really cool. Such a cool vintage piece that I think this will do really well. If we decide to sell this, I bet we could probably sell this for at least 50 bucks. I think that we're gonna keep it for now, but that was a really cool find and I am very jazzed about it. Then one of the things that really turned around my trip to this Goodwill, I wasn't finding tons at first and I was feeling kind of discouraged but then I found this in the dress section and this is what really was like, okay, I bet there's some hidden gems here. I bet I can find stuff. And yeah, I found those shoes before this, but this was only the second piece I found and everything else I found after this. So this is a gorgeous dress. I love the draping. The skirt is so pretty. I'm trying to hold it so you guys can see it. It kind of drapes to the side there, almost like a toga kind of look to it. It does have these um, pretty embellishments here on the sleeve, but this is a one shoulder gown from Tadashi Shoji. Um, but this is the logo here. It's a vintage Tadashi piece. I've not found, I found a tea by Tadashi piece once before. It was another gown in the bins. I sold that for over a hundred dollars. This is a vintage size four, also that same brand. I think I can get some good money for this. It is not silk, which I think would help it, but it does have some really fun features to it. I paid $6.99 for this. That was a great price, a great steal, because they had so many things marked up, but this was not. So I'm happy it was not. And I think I'll probably be able to resell this for at least a hundred bucks. Then this was a piece I picked up more because I wanted to find some more things, but they also had all of their green tags were half off. And then if anything had a purple tag, it was $1.50. So I found this really cute dress. I just love the style of it. I think it's really pretty for the transition from spring and summer to fall. I think it could go in a lot of seasons. I love the little ties here at the front. It's a really cute style. It's just by the brand Natural Life. This brand I think is sometimes sold at Anthropology, but it's more of like, it's not a cheap brand. It might be, it's more like a boutique style, but this was only $1.50, so I decided to pick it up. It's in a size extra small, small. It has really cute sleeves, a really cute dress, 
great condition. It has pockets and I think I can sell it for, you know, probably like at least 20 bucks. And then for a dollar 50, I mean, that's, that's super worth it for me. So I thought that was adorable, even though it's not a brand I normally pick up. And then one of the things I'm probably most excited about this, because I have just been having the hardest time finding jeans to that fit me. I really struggled with doing that at the thrift, especially. I found this pair of Carly Jean Los Angeles jeans, and I was so excited to try these on, because I also want a pair of comfortable jeans. I work from home all day. I'm sitting. I'm like doing things that are like editing. I don't want to be in like stiff, rigid denim. This one has some stretch to it. And then they have a distressed hem and they're a nice light wash and they're just really cute. So I was pretty excited to find these. I tried them on, which I don't often do at the thrift store these days, but I tried these on really nice brand. They're pretty expensive up front. I don't pick them up a lot to resell them because I usually only find like t-shirts from them, but these were marked at $7.49 and they fit me perfectly and they were comfortable. So I grabbed those for me and I'm really excited about those. And then the only thing that I picked up at that Salvation Army was this pair of shoes, but they are really cool. Again, I walked in, a pair of Doc Martens was like 30 bucks. That other pair of shoes was even more expensive, but these were back in the regular shoe section. This is a really sweet style of Nikes. I love them, they look very like futuresque. Um, really cool color i like the green colorway, and these are in a size 10. i think that's a men's size 10 because they look kind of large to be a women's size 10. Um, but i think if they were in the men's section they would have priced them up more they were in the women's but these were 9.99 which is again a little pricier than i would like to pay but i just i paid it because i do think that these will sell for a good amount because of the style of them and these are the nike vista light and they're in green. I saw comps and they were selling for around 50 bucks for these, sometimes a little bit more. For the size I have, they're in great condition. I think I can get at least 50 for 10 bucks. I'm still gonna make a profit of at least 20, 30 bucks. So not too bad. And I thought those were super cool. And then this thing is super heavy, but I got this for home decor for our house. This was across the street from where I was running a booth this weekend and at this little like antique kind of place. They had this out, it had a $10 sticker on it and he offered me eight for this. <laughs> so I decided to purchase this for $8. I love all of the calligraphy on it. I love all of the fun details. This thing is heavy. I think it's like 30 pounds at least, but it is so heavy. But I'm gonna use it as decor probably on one of these shelves here behind me because that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. And so yeah, I was really excited that $8, that's a steal. Then we have two more garage sales I stopped at. At this one, I got this really cool vintage clock. It says Big Ben on it, West Clocks. I like the gold around the rim. And then the back also has lots of like more older hardware. At least they look older to me. Um, made in the USA, I got it for a dollar. And then I also got this pair of really cute little Betsy Johnson shoes for $2. And I don't sell a lot of Betsy Johnson, but this was literally, it looks like new. They don't look like they've ever been worn. Excellent condition. I like the square toe. I thought they were fun. And for $2, I mean, how could you go wrong? And these are in a women's size six. I just thought they were so, so precious. Some of Betsy Johnson's stuff, I'm just like, it's so fun and colorful and just like really vibrant. So it adds a lot to my closet. The last thing I got there was this Sushi Go game. We're into board games. We own the big deluxe pack of this already, but for it being brand new in its package for a dollar, I thought I could pick it up and then give it as a Christmas present. So I was excited about that. And then this is the most insane part of today's video because literally this morning we were driving back up here to Indianapolis and we decided to stop at this garage sale that was literally like two blocks away from my house the entire week where I was doing my little like pop-up tent of clothes I was selling and I never stopped. And then today I stopped and I bought four designer handbags and who knows what they would have had the whole week, you know? So um, absolutely insane. I decided to buy four of them. I did have to pay up a little bit for them, but I'm gonna show you guys them and tell you what I think I can get for them. The first one is this Marc Jacobs little tote bag. Now it's not the tote bag by Marc Jacobs, which would go for tons of money, but I still think I can get a good amount for this. It is new with tags, which is amazing. And then it has, you know, this kind of nylon material that forms the M for Marc Jacobs. They had it packed up with some stuff in here. It is in excellent condition. It looks completely authentic. I believe I looked up comps for this and one sold recently, not new with tags for $200. 
So I do think I can get around 200 for this. Let's hope <laughs> because I did, this was marked at $40. So I paid up, but luckily I had had some cash with me and I did a little bit of bargaining. So for all four bags, I paid $115. And so I think that that one will really help pay for the rest of them. Cause this one is maybe one that I shouldn't have grabbed but they were all sitting there. There's actually some more, but these were the ones that were in the best condition. They had some coach bags too, but they were torn up. This is a Dunium Burke bag. It is gray fabric. Um, the leather ones from Dunium Burke sell for a lot more. So that's probably where I should have been a little bit more um, diligent in looking up comps, but it has a leather strap, really cute gray style. It's large, which is nice. It's a nice large shoulder bag. I think it's really cute. They had this marked at $40 too, but again, for all of them, I paid $115. But the nice thing too is they took great care of their bag. They're all in great condition on the inside, so that's wonderful. I'm going to hopefully sell this one. I'm probably gonna list it for mm, 75 to 100 is where I probably will list, and then hopefully we'll make at least, hopefully 60 to 75 at the end of the day. And then this one is what really caught my eye from the beginning. I knew I wanted this one in the Marc Jacobs bags for sure. It is this gorgeous black and brown leather bag. But get this, guys. It is Vintage Burberry. So you can see the logo right there. And I know Vintage Burberry is pretty sought after. So it says Burberries, which is, you know, characteristic of Vintage Burberry. And then the inside is in an impeccable condition. Like, they kept this really nice. The inside is leather as well. And then what I thought was really cute is the zipper here at the top, too, has the Burberry plaid on one side and then says... Burberries on the other side. So really gorgeous bag. It looks like it's in excellent condition. I think that it feels really good. The leather is in great condition. Everything looks great on it. This was also marked at $40, but I am thinking that I can probably resell this. I'm thinking about putting it on auction and starting at $100, either that or put it up for like $200 to $250 on my Poshmark. But is a gorgeous bag and so I'm very happy with that one. And then this very last bag, I actually, it's really nice. I picked it up. Um, I'm probably going to give it as a gift to my mother-in-law. So Monica, if you're watching this, stop watching now. But this is what it looks like. It is this absolutely adorable bag. Very, very cute, very cheery, very her. It's this bag from Brighton and it must be like a Christmas collab edition or something because it is very Christmassy, at least with the straps. And then on the inside of it, it also has an elf. So um, yeah, very Christmas inspired. And then on here too, it says, sometimes you got to get off that shelf and be your own bad self, Lulu the elf. So I thought that was cute. I think that she will love this. And so I decided to grab that for her. This one was marked at $20 instead of 40, so that was helpful. But for all four, 115, I'm hoping to make that back with just the Marc Jacobs bag and then the rest of them will just be profit, which is amazing. Also got a Christmas gift there, a Christmas gift at the other garage sale, some home decor pieces and a pair of jeans for myself and lots of clothes to resell. So I would call that a success, even though in the middle of thrifting, I was like, oh wow, I'm never gonna find anything. I still found stuff and you can find stuff anywhere. So. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you guys enjoyed the thrift with me and the thrifting content, let me know in the comments. Give today's video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Bye, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.